modern sheep farming for meat. Sheep farming. Sheep are taken out from the pen so that they can roam in the bare sunlight in order to supply them with the energy and a mild walk that can freshen their mood. This at times becomes essential because of retaining them in the pen for several continuous hours. Therefore, these are taken to the greenery for pasturing them with fresh grass, while at times, these are taken at the hindmost distance from their pens, with a worker accompanied with a dog for their protection and keeping them in discipline. Literally, like the buffaloes in the previous video, these two enjoy roaming in the greenery with their utmost zeal and zest. Sheep Shearing A trimming machine similar to that is kept by barbers and is utilized to shed the wool of sheep. Humans have selectively bred a small number of species to help provide better for human needs at the expense of the animal's natural survival. Sheep are one of those species. Prior to domestication, sheep would have grown a much smaller amount of wool up to the point where it served their needs, like the hair on a bear or a wolf. It doesn't grow indefinitely. Then humans came along and found these relatively docile sheep sitting around and someone realized their wool was very useful to make things like clothing out of. Keep watching and supporting us. Over many generations, humans captured and bred these sheep to harvest their wool. Humans also realized that by breeding the males and females with the most and best wool, the offspring would usually end up with even more wool than the parents. By repeating this process over time, we ended up with the types of sheep we have today who are completely reliant on humans to regularly shear them and remove the wool. This is domestication and selective breeding. Without us, they would suffer many problems like overheating and being far too heavy. Similarly, this is how humans maintain and retain their survival by their wool, which is in other terms, the byproduct these sheep provide us. The wool is then integrated into a larger quantity and sent to the industries where after several processes, the wool in its raw form is converted into clothes and other essential items. Although in the video, it seems to be a smooth task, in reality, the workers bestow their full effort in order to shed a certain number of sheep to meet their livelihood, and at times these workers even get injured by the abrupt attacks of these sheep during the shearing or shedding process. Meat Processing The initial process begins with the slaughtering of the sheep and sending it towards the major process, where the sheep is hanged by its rear legs on the hanger. The workers then begin with the skin peeling, showing their great skills. After streamlining the skin from the legs, then comes the turn of the machine to entwine its skin. Similarly, the skin peeling won't happen in one go, but the skin is circulated to various other machines which also put their contribution to the skin peeling. Then comes the time to clean the sheep by pulling out its internal organs, which is cleanly done by the machine under the supervision and with mild assistance of workers. All the processes are carried out in a circular manner, where the fresh and uncut meat is circulated in all the segments where workers and machines are waiting to ensure their contributions.
Similarly, before getting cut into pieces, the meat is checked by a quality inspector so that they can achieve their mission of dispensing quality meat in the markets. Although the farms can adopt traditional techniques that are being carried in the local markets, but it won't make it that certain to ensure hygiene and quality. This is why the process has taken too long and it resembles to be lengthy and costly enough to these farms. But yes, this is only how to meet the quality and hygiene standards. Similarly, when the meat passes the quality test by ensuring the determinant rank and figures, then the meat is cut into various pieces by the workers and ultimately packed into boxes which finally becomes ready to be sent into the markets and becomes accessible to the customers. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're obsessed with farm and technology related videos. And lastly, let us know where you're watching from in the comment section. Keep watching.